Boom, right there guys, black buck sirloin steaks. This is actually black buck from a ham. I've cooked this before in a video, but I haven't really done like a full blown video on just the actual cooking and actual tasting of the black buck, telling you guys how it tastes, give you a rundown on how it tastes. So in this BMB video, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna just show you guys how to cook it, how, did it, how it tastes, what temperature you wanna pull it off at, and just all around what the black buck looks like in the end. That being said, we're gonna hop right into this BMB video. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna have a very good one. It's gonna be a very good cooking session with you guys, kind of on the stove inside so I can get better lighting for you guys and that way it's easier to cook and I don't have to always step outside in the cold and try to cook it. We're gonna hop on the grill here, stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in a second. We got the black buck down here. Let me guys, really red meat, really nice, beautiful meat, um, as you guys can see right there. Probably not very focused right now, but we're gonna go ahead and get some seasoning for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm gonna be using for seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down. So I'm gonna do two different kinds of seasoning. I'm gonna do one, one black buck, just strict salt and pepper, so I can actually taste the meat and I can tell you guys an honest review on how the actual meat of black buck tastes. I might not even, I'm not even gonna go too heavy on one of them. And now on the other one, I'm gonna do pretty heavy. I'm gonna do a whole variety of seasoning, so that way I'm just gonna show you guys if you guys are cooking a different kind of meat, this is what you're gonna wanna do because it's gonna taste a little bit gamey. Black buck doesn't really taste that gamey unless you have some, you know, all the blood. That's why I wiped all the blood off silver skin fat that makes the gaming taste a little bit more I do work at a deer processor guys so I do know what I'm talking about majority of the time but if you do find something wrong please correct me in the comments so we're gonna be going ahead and using some salt we're gonna be using some coarse ground pepper on the next one we're gonna be throwing on some Worcester sauce that's like an absolute must some crushed red peppers on the next one and then we're also going to be throwing on one extra seasoning oh we'll put on some fajita spice because this is a ham so it's gonna be Good for some fajita spice. I'm gonna get two plates here. Now, this is how you wanna prepare your meat, for sure. You wanna make sure you get all the silver. I apologize about the pajamas, guys. Uh, I woke up about a couple hours ago. It's currently 9 a.m. We had an early morning this morning trying to film a Power Stroke Central video for you guys as well. Um, if you guys haven't already checked out that channel, Power Stroke Central, it'll be linked down below. It's my second channel for my truck. I just got new tires on my truck. Filmed a video for that as well this morning. Okay, you guys can't see my face, but you can see my hands and see what I'm putting on. For this guy right here, this is gonna be our little seasoning. This is gonna be our lot seasoning. So I'm gonna put salt on this guy. Put pepper on this guy and that's it just gonna put that on this guy i'm gonna put worcester sauce i'm gonna put crushed red peppers i'm gonna put this fajita spice I'm also gonna put this on that one um so that being said here let's just give this a light dusting so i can taste the meat and give you guys a full-blown honest review i'm gonna start off with a very light coating of pepper very light compared to what I normally do. You're, I'm hardly gonna be able to taste the pepper. This is just, to, I mean, honestly, at this point, salt and pepper is just to tenderize the meat a little bit more. Now guys, if you're cooking some sort of fajita or something like that, you would wanna run this through the tenderizer. This is a good cut for fajita meat. Just a dust of salt, nothing too crazy. All you're gonna need on that guy, Nothing too crazy. Now on this guy, we're gonna go pretty crazy, um, but I'm gonna try to taste some meat on this guy. I'm gonna throw him on separately on the grill and show you guys how to cook that as well. Okay, on this guy though, we're gonna put on some Worcester sauce. I'm gonna put on first because this is liquid and it's gonna help all the seasoning stick to it. Perfect, like that. On this guy, I might actually even let marinate a little bit to help with some of that silver skin and fat. Just kind of get that gamey taste out. Um, now we're gonna throw on our salt. Now I can definitely tell you this is gonna be a good cut of meat right here. Then some of our pepper, we're going to put on some crushed red pepper. This is gonna give it a little bit of a kick to it. That fajita spice is gonna kind of balance it out. Make sure we get the fajita spice on there. It's a lot of seasoning on this guy, so that's how what we were looking for. I'm looking to go soft on this guy. I'm looking to go pretty heavy to where you can almost barely see the meat. I love a lot of seasoning, guys, so I'm probably gonna dig this one right here, but that one over there is gonna be a challenge to eat. I don't like too much spice, so I'm gonna leave the peppers pretty slight on there. That's clean, that's good right there. That's how it looked. Um, that looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that. We're gonna slide that over here. We're gonna get the grill fired up, and then we're gonna throw those guys on there with some butter and some oil and base it. Kind of cook it for, I'll show you guys how to cook it, show you guys what temperature to put it at and show you guys when to pull it off. So let's get to cooking. We're gonna get this butter kind of hot. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cook my very lightly seasoned. This is my very lightly seasoned one, as you guys can tell here. Very lightly seasoned. You can barely see the seasoning on there. I mean, you can see it, but it's not like overwhelming like the other one is. Okay, we're gonna cook first. We're gonna throw this guy in that butter, that nice, crispy, juicy butter. Here's our uh, piece of black buck meat going on the grill. 
It's a little bit thicker piece, guys. It's a little bit thicker, but that being said, we're gonna need to cook it just a little bit longer. We're gonna try to rip it. Black buck, it's so tender, it's so nice. So we're gonna actually put the meat thermometer at 125 on this baby, which is kind of low sometimes, but this cut of meat is gonna be perfect. If you don't have a meat thermometer, two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other, and then flip it again, two minutes, two minutes. Don't do four minutes, because then you're gonna burn it. Do two minutes on one side, then two minutes on the other. At medium high heat. All right, guys, we're going to give that a small little flip here. It's been about a minute and a half, two minutes. Give that a flip here. All right, ready to be flipped again here. We're going to actually test it with the meat thermometer here. But I hope you guys can see that all right. Um, you, this is how you basically gonna test, test it here. It's not even close to cooked as you guys can see. Put it in there. It's at 190. So about 100 degrees in the middle there. You want it to about 125 in order for it to be ethically cooked and actually eat it to so heat a little bit, let it cook a little bit higher up. Keep cooking it and then wait till it gets to 125 and keep checking it. All right, it's been cooking for about another minute or so. Oh yeah, 121. Just not there, guys. It needs about another 30 seconds or so. This is side cooked. Wow, that side's really freaking cooked. Okay, 130 on that side. We're just gonna keep flipping it. Kind of just make sure everything's cooked. Pretty crispy, so we're just gonna flip it, get it on its side a little bit, scoop it on up, let it rest a little bit, let that meat rest. Give it one more temperature check here. Okay, 150. We way overcooked this side. This side right here, way overcooked. I don't know how we overcooked this side. Maybe it's just we're not far down enough. 146. I swear to God, it was 120 earlier on the grill. There we go. 129. This that's a little bit raw. 30. Yeah, there's some parts that are more cooked than others but that's all right let me go ahead and throw in this next piece here it's pretty hot on the grill there it's a very seasoned piece wow that is ripping ripping hot well, that is very seasoned too very very seasoned i want to cook that one this guy for a little bit more just about the same amount because i did undercook that this <coughs> Very seasoned, wow. Okay, in order for me not to get the crust on the outside like I did on this one, I'm just gonna be, wow, that's very seasoned. I'm just gonna flip it a little bit more. See how it has that crust, that burnt crust on the outside? Um, I, some people like that, some people don't. Kinda up to you, but Jesus Christ. That's how, like, you can't even hardly breathe around it, so seasoned. Just let that sit, and I'm gonna flip it a little bit more often so that way we don't get that crust. Probably every 30 seconds or so. All right, guys, a little different camera angle here. Raise that heat a little bit. It's definitely not even close to cooked, so we're just gonna give it a little bit longer here. I'll uh, update you guys when it's completely cooked, and then I'm gonna update you guys again. Again, when we're up over there on the table eating it. So stay tuned. All right, fellas, just pull the steak off here. We're gonna actually pull the pan off. We're gonna go wash it. She's crispy. We're gonna let that cool off for a second. Don't wanna put water right in or else it's gonna get bubbling. Damn, it's smoky. <coughs> Come on, put that out real quick. Hold on. Okay, fellas, the table's currently being occupied by a computer, so we're gonna actually switch it up to the counter. Okay, so here we go here. We got our stockis. Uh, some parts are cooked more than others, so I'm gonna keep a meat thermometer. Okay, so this is gonna be my very seasoned piece, and this is gonna be my not-so-seasoned piece. I'm not starving right now, so I'm just gonna give a taste test on both and probably put this in the fridge for leftovers for later. Dig in here. I'm gonna try to find the side that's not as cooked. This side is way overcooked. This is gonna be my taste test right here. This is gonna be the one with very little seasoning on it, so let's actually put it in here. I cook these both to 125, some of the pieces of meat, 125, some of the other pieces, 150. That's just kind of how the grill works. It's just you get un uneven heat parts and it's just very hard to cook it consistently throughout the whole piece of meat. Dive into this piece right here. This is actually gonna be my little seasoning on it. Wow. For a ham stick, that is impressive. That's really that's really good, guys. I'm, I'm dead serious on that. This is an honest review. I wouldn't lie to you guys if it's bad. Very tender. We're just having salt and pepper on it. That's all I taste is the salt and pepper. Very little salt and pepper on it. No gamey taste at all. Very beautiful. Very, very good taste to it. Very consistent. So if that wasn't... That was already maybe even a little too heavy on the seasoning, guys. Um, but I barely put any salt and pepper on that, and it tasted amazing. I'm going to dig into the other piece here, uh, preferably thicker part, so we can get it where it's a little bit less cooked. There it is right there. Boom. This piece is going to be the heavily, 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 heavily seasoned piece. Get a good chunk of meat so that way we can taste the whole deal. It is pretty hot right now, so we're just going to let it cool down for a second. Wow. Now that piece is amazing. Definitely way too heavy on seasoning though. Lots going on with that piece. I taste the red pepper, I taste the fajita spice. I don't really even taste the salt and pepper. I definitely can get a hit of that Worcester sauce and definitely the butter that I put it in. I mean, I, it's, it's all around great. I'm gonna have actually have another piece of that. That was pretty damn good and it's cooked to perfection, guys. 125 and it's off. This one was perfect. Set that up up there, do that for later. 
all around stellar cut of meat here. This is just on the back cams. I'm gonna show you guys a video on actually cooking the back straps, which were amazing. I cooked them over at RTC Outdoors. If you guys wanna check out their link and go drop off your deer there, it'd be down in the description. But we cooked back strap over at RTC Outdoors. Amazing back strap. Definitely tastes exactly like beef, if not better than beef. Highly recommend you guys go out and shoot this animal. If you guys wanna check out the Wild Shriner Ranch where I actually shot this animal, go ahead and do that as well down in the link in the description. There'll be Wild Shriner Ranch. RTC Outdoors will also be down there and Real Outfitters, the outfitter company that sponsored the whole hunt. They'll be also down in the description down below. You can book a hunt with all with all two and then the one, once you're done hunting, go drop off your deer at RTC Outdoors and get it processed. So it's just kind of a double whammy there. Rating nine out of 10 on the Black Buck is one of the best venison cuts of meat I've ever had. I think it beats beef. Beef is almost at the 10 out of 10 rating on pretty much everybody's rating is 10 out of 10. It's basically domesticated beef is best cut of meat you're ever gonna get. Contender with beef, nine out of 10 on this. I give Whitetail a seven out of 10. Axe also a nine out of 10 with the Black Buck. I think Axis and Black Buck are almost identical tasting meat. I'm gonna do a test with it guys and do like a comparison video. Recap everything. We went ahead and seasoned the Black Buck with Worcester, fajita spice and salt and pepper and red crushed peppers on one of them. We just did salt and pepper on one of them. All you need is salt and pepper and if you're really feeling ballsy, I would just do the meat and the grill. It's its really that good, guys, and you don't taste any game. Like I said, this is the back ham, so it's not even the best cut of meat. It as is, you don't really even need spices if you're doing trying to do like a survival challenge or a catch and cook or something of that nature. If you have your own channel and you shoot black buck or shoot an axis and you just want to do a catch and cook real quick, throw the back strap on the grill. Don't even use season A okay, perfect. Cooked it to 125 degrees with this Thermo Pro meat thermometer. You can go ahead and pick this up at your local academy. My buddy Zach actually picked this up. You guys have seen him, Zach Hack in the back. He actually got this for me. me thermometer at Academy for my birthday last year. Game changer when I'm cooking meat. Get it to that exact temperature and pull it off at the exact perfect time and cook it to where I can actually taste it. Just cooked it in some butter, sauteed it, and that I think that's the move, guys. Not cooking it on the grill, just sauteing it in butter. It gets, really brings out the flavor of the meat and just kind of makes it more tender. We pulled it off, now I cut it up, and I found the most tender piece, and then I ate that piece, and uh, on the rating scale, gonna be a nine out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this BNB video. If you wanna watch the next BNB video, as always, in the conclusion, the video will be right there. You guys can watch where I actually shot this black book it'll be right here and then you can actually watch whatever video is right here as well go ahead and watch that one as well just that subscribe button right here Put you guys on another bnb episode stay tuned though we're going to be doing a lot of hunting a lot of trapping a lot of reviews and being on this channel thank you guys for watching